to the basement. We are here in the wind turbine lab and tower tech lab. So right here is where they will do some of the lecture, some of the PowerPoint, learn some of the theory stuff. And then after this, it's all hands on, which is why we were wearing hard hats. So come on in. And right here we have one of our tower technician instructors, Chad Alvin. Chad, how are you doing? Good, how you doing? Fantastic. Tell us a little bit about for the tower students coming to boot camp, what will they be doing in this lab? Yeah, man. So when we get them here, they've obviously been online for a while, and they have you know the theory of everything they've gone through. And when they bring them here, we got ten days to take all the culmination of everything they've learned, get that hands on. Yeah. From the actual climbing side of it to safety portions of it, and also getting the techniques, and tools in their toolbox, so they can go out there and earn a good career, stay safe. Yes, sir. Make us proud. I mean, yes, sir. It is. So I mean. What is this? This is simulating a cell tower, right? Yeah, so this is pretty, pretty typical what you see on a guide tower. This section would be stacked up to about 1,500 feet or so. Okay. Uh, typically, you know, our cellular is going to stay around four or 500 feet. Second round like this would be installed on there, which allows the antennas to have a place to go ahead and focus the signal. Okay. And they're going to be placed on all sides of the tower. That way, it only comes 360 degrees of our cell service. So, no drop calls. No drop calls, right. But out there and learn how to take what they've got here and, and put it into where everybody can watch Netflix and do the Twitter or Twitter or whatever it is. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not a real technological sound when it comes to that. No, well, Chad, I appreciate you explaining that. And the last thing I was going to ask is, right behind the, the camera, actually, <laughs> we've got a foosball table yes. in the air. What is going on right here? This is one of my favorite things for the students, right? So. It, it serves two things. Once they learn how to climb on ropes, they can come up here and, and play the foosball, but also it serves a secondary purpose. And obviously, they're going to be climbing, mm -hmm. right? and they need their hands and their feet. So the biggest problem that we have with students and with anybody in the work in heights industry is they, they tend to try to hold on to too much with their hands. Right? Okay. So when we do this, they stop forgetting that they're hanging on a rope, and they actually get into play, and they learn to be a two-handed. So right. Way, they get them outside their comfort zone outside without them even knowing. Yeah. So it's, it's a really cool thing that we, we put together. And as far as I know, it's yeah. the only foosball table in the entire world that you have to climb on ropes for. <laughs> well, so it's a pretty cool feature. I love it, Chad. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We get back out.